Hello everybody, this is Reviews and More, back with a really cool item. This is the Sabo Heat Battery Heated Gloves. So these are perfect gloves for winter time, which is coming up as of the time I'm recording this review. And if you want to skip the review and just know how awesome they are, they're great. I think they work wonderfully. You're going to see a heat test as well as just a general mobility test. There's only so much I can do to show you how these work on a video medium. Uh, so I, I got a thermometer, going to show you how fast they heat up and what temperatures you can expect inside the gloves. Um, I'll tell you the price real fast. It is $89 on Amazon.com, and that's really competitive to other stuff. Actually, actually a little bit cheaper than some other brands out there. It's got all kinds of fun goodies in there. There you see all the battery information, 3,000 milliamp uh, uh, ion batteries, uh, lithium ion batteries. There you go. Splash proof design, relatively waterproof, made of goat with uh, made with goat leather uh, on the grippy sides as well as basically any part of the glove that gets heavy use like the index finger portion or obviously the palm of your hand lots of leather which is very nice they're also very comfortable I, I i got the larges they fit pretty snug i think i might have been able to go to an extra large and still been pretty comfortable maybe a little more flexibility but overall really happy especially because they're brand new gloves you can only expect them to be so flexible there you see the charging mechanism it is not usb type c i think we're um in in this case i think it has to do with the uh, type of batteries being used but um that would be nice if it were usb type c because make easier to use like a uh, car charger that kind of thing and there you see how they come in a little bag right there. And they are very well packaged. You get them in the box just like you saw. The internal material is like a neoprene kind of material. Uh, the outside material obviously is that leather I mentioned as well as some polyester. It is machine washable as long as you take the battery out, which is kind of cool considering these are uh, basically electric gloves. There's, there's uh, wires and uh, I, think na I think they use like a nano heat tube technology to kind of get a very uniform heat among all the various fingers and parts of your hand. And that is accurate. It is very, very even heat. You're not. It's not like your fingers are hot, but the palm of your hand's cold or the palm of your hand's hot and your wrist is hot, but the fingers get cold it is very very even heat the construction is fairly good i didn't see any problem with it i felt like i'd be pretty hard on it and it would take a lot to really damage it obviously if you're like skiing or something and it tears on a tree that that's going to tear up any glove but just general use works just fine and there you see the charging mechanism the charging mechanism is the battery itself it's also the method by which it um it, uh, the heat is the heat is turned on so it's both the charger and it's also how the power and the heat is uh, spread through the entire glove. So there you see you plug it in the, um, I mean, that's not actually how it works, I apologize. You take the whole battery out, you plug it up, charge it, put the whole battery back in, and there's a little, um, there's the, the mail in of the uh, battery pack is actually sewn into the glove itself. So you can actually pull that out. And there's zippers that hold it all in together, so you shouldn't have any real issues with that uh, if you need any extra maintenance just go and look at the instruction manual right there so here you see me pulling out the actual battery pack and once that's out you can either charge it you can also pull it out to inspect and make sure everything's working fine on it just a standard lithium-ion battery right there and here you actually see the mail in that will be the thing that connects the glove to the battery pack and once that's plugged in, all you got to do is press and hold the button for about one and a half seconds and it starts off in its highest heat so there's four settings so just keep clicking it um, and it'll basically turn like to a purple, a green, then to a blue, blue being like the lowest temperature of like of heat being produced. It's also very secure. The batteries do add a little bit of weight, but it's nothing crazy. You're talking about that battery might weigh two ounces, so two ounces on each side, which in the grand scheme of things is not that heavy, although overall it does add to the weight of the actual glove since they typically aren't all that heavy. So it does add a percentage to the weight, but it really is not an effective large amount. The battery also is not like a big chunky thing inside the glove. It feels like it's rattling around. It feels like it's, it's in a little pocket that you just saw zipped up. It sits in there pretty snug so it's not moving around a whole lot it doesn't feel like there's like a separate thing in there kind of wobbling around as you're moving and there you see me turning it on the red being the hottest setting and you just cycle through it by pressing the button and if you want to turn it off you press and hold it again for one and a half seconds and it's good to go and there you see the little pur that's purple I realized there's the blue and there it cycles through all the, all the various colors and there you go even though these gloves were brand new, they felt like they had a pretty good range of motion on them. I didn't feel too restricted. They got some good straps. They have the, uh, the standard Velcro strap right there that kind of pulls around, as well as the, um, the I call it a toggle strap. I'm sure that's not the proper name for it. Basically, like a bungee cord that uh, tightens up at the wrist. So this is kind of designed for not general yard work, more for like sports enthusiasts, kind of like um, cycling, sledding, skiing, winter activities. 
outside because it's meant to really keep everything out. You can basically, if you were to wear like a sweatshirt or a, or a set of like uh, skiing clothes, you could basically hook this up to those things and it would tighten right around it just fine. And here you see me using my standard room thermometer. It's about 80 degrees in this room. I know way too hot. So we're going to see a quick test of how well and how quickly this glow actually heats up. All this portion is in real time. Nothing sped up. So here it is completely turned off. Just to give you an idea of a baseline of what temperature is inside the glove. And it should come out right around the 81. Oh, 79. So 79 degrees. Nothing too crazy. Basically about the ambient temperature of the room. Maybe a little bit hotter. This feeling. Again, this thermometer is like a little at-home thermometer. It's not perfect. It does heat up in about three seconds. Three seconds is about how long it takes. So you you put the gloves on, turn on, three seconds. I actually put it on my wife's hand, let her try it, and told her to push the button. And she's like, wow, that got hot so fast. So again, just an ambient test. Make sure everything's proper. And then we're going to shove the thermometer up in there and test it. Um, we get it up near the fingers. That's where most of the heat feels like it is, although it is pretty uniform. It's just easier to kind of find a spot right there. Got up to about 81. That's because I was basically aiming at the wrong spot, trying to do this blind through a camera lens, making sure I get it right. And here you see I kind of get it in the further into the glove. I get about 84. And then we do it one last time, realizing I'm doing this as fast as I can on camera. So it's heating up the entire time we're doing this. And there we go. It's at 100 degrees. So... In that length of time, we got up to 100 degrees. Really, the fingertips get to about 100 degrees almost, again, in three seconds. The rest of the glove heats up along the way. And overall, the, the range of motion on these things is excellent. I did not feel like I was restricted. I, Although, if I'd gotten an extra large, I think I would have been better off because these are just large and I have fairly large hands. Um, but overall, really satisfied with them. I, do, I, I Obviously, you wouldn't be able to like be a dexterous enough to like operate a phone functionally because these gloves are kind of puffy but you'd certainly be able to ride a motorcycle ski hold on to basic things for basic sporting activities in the winter sledding obviously it would be great for that um i'm not sure i recommend these things for like outdoor winter yard work unless just like simple holding a tool because i think these could be torn up by grabbing branches and stuff like that but overall super satisfied with them they did a great job i was really astounded by how fast they got hot and also on a related note you don't feel sweaty because the material doesn't feel like it's going to be like a basically cause bun chafing so that's another little side benefit too i think that's like a neoprene material on the inside but overall really happy with it the item works great and basically the only thing i got to test further is to make sure the battery lasts for as long as it says i believe the battery is advertised at four hours usually the one that says it's going to last for four hours that means on the lowest setting so that's i'm going to kind of test that out let it run for a while and i'll put that in like a comment probably in the next week or so once i get that set up so thanks for watching guys and have a great day